Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. Mama is over here working at these berries. I told you I bought a flat of berries from the um, baby club. Now look here. I'm going to show it to her before you get them all. Mama wouldn't wait. Look, look at those beautiful berries. That beautiful bow. Whoa, that was Whoa. Excellent time. I didn't spill nothing. Well, I mean, I know I didn't spill. Um, these will have to be chopped up and then they'll have to be mashed up. So what are y'all up to tonight? We're making, well, we're calling them freezer preserves, but they're called on the paper, the freezer jam on the sure gel box. That's what they're called. Freezer jam. And you don't have to cook them. You just chop them up like this. You first, of course, you want to cap them, spot them, make sure they're all good. Wash them good. You can wash them in a mixture of water and vinegar. Or you can wash them with water over and over, however you want to do it. And uh, get them good and clean. And then chop, chop, chop. Now you could use the food processor or the uh, Tupperware chopper, Mama. That would have been better. Once you get it out now, you can see it. <laughs> it'd be quicker than chopping. Yeah, it'd be a lot quicker. I've just never used it before for my strawberries. I never thought about it. Never thought of it, she said. So she thought, I'll oh, just get John to do it. And it'll take, oh, five, ten times as long. You getting the red one out for the red strawberries? Why it was just first. What have y'all been up to today? Hey Nancy Jones, hey Connie, thank y'all for jumping on. Uh, Charlene, how are you? Did y'all stop? Did I stop you? Tariff. I have no comments. What's going on? Hello, there's one. <laughs> I may have messed y'all up. Are y'all frozen? Are we still on? <laughs> there you go. Okay. We're going to switch over to the chopper. Mommy, you might not need that other thing either time I get through with this. Yeah, I won't need it. No. I think this will prove to be much quicker than your old way of doing business, Mama. So right in here, we're just going to add our strawberries right in the chopper. Can y'all see anything? No. I don't know what's going on. I see friendly faces. Maybe those was hit by mistake. I don't know. Maybe somebody got mad because we're using the chopper. They <laughs> want to see you labor. They want to see me work. We use this for a lot of things. It's just a part of our everyday. Okay, Mama, how, how you want to really chop this? I don't want big cuts. This will be right up my alley, Mama. You better get you another bowl. Well, I've got this one washed right here. That's big, big, big. This is going to town on these. Every time I pull this rope, it's like 12 chops. So that's pretty good. Let's pull you up here. Y'all know what I'm doing down here. Is somebody sending frowny faces because they're upset about something? Or are they frozen? Are we not rolling? I'm not getting any comments. They stopped. And I sent a bunch of frowny faces. Frowny faces? Uh-huh. Normally I don't have any angry faces. It could be one person. I don't know. Since we're live, are we on people? Because I'm not getting any comments. Let me swipe the comments away. I'm getting hearts and I'm getting thumbs up. Is there a reason I'm not getting comments? Mm -hmm. Folks, the only thing I'm getting is when you come up. Hello, Janet. Thank you for speaking, Janet. Hey, y'all. I'm glad I got to. Thank you, Karen. All I had for the longest, and I've never had that before, was 
is watching. You're like, your name is watching. You're rolling, and I'm enjoying the show. Well, thank you, Mary. Thank you. Woo! I thought, what has happened here? It's Friday. Are y'all having a great Friday? Oh, that's good. Mama says, whoa. Yeah. She thinks I'm a mule today. Mama, these are chopped. I reckon they are. These are chopped. These are chopped like I didn't have no comments scrolling. And I was just pulling and looking for comments. <laughs> Folks, there they are. They're chopped. But that's what you want. I didn't know we're chopped this time. So, you want these chopped up to chop. And that's the beautiful strawberries. Chop, chop, chop. Um, Mama's making freezer preserves, a.k.a. strawberry jam. You can call it whichever one you want. Now, um, most of the time when we've made this in the past, we made it last year. Um, these did not come out of Mama's garden. These came from school, uh, from the Betty Club. We bought a whole flat because we love these preserves. And uh, most of y'all ask every time. Let me give you the... the That's Missy Wages. This is some I had left from last year because I couldn't find it <coughs> already this year yet. Sure, so. Jail. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, Jail. This so let me read... Mrs. Wait. Wages fruit. This is wages. That's just our store brand. Not it's uh, picklins and everything. Picklin and everything she said. It's fruit picked and is what we're talking about. Let me just show you the whole box. Mrs. Wages fruit picked. That was what Save Log had last year. So let me go over the freezer jam. I guess the reason they don't call it strawberry preserves is because it's not all strawberries. You can to make you can make uh now, I'm sure you could use, you all, this is not limited to this, but it says blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, peach, and strawberry. All made the same exact way as we're making these. Uh, it just says sort them and stem them and wash them uh, in, uh, on firm ripe bur berries. Crush them thoroughly. And that's what I'm doing. The only thing different here, and I don't even know if this matters, it says fruit amount for the... Blackberries and the raspberries says four cups. For blueberries, four cups. For peaches, it says two pounds. And for strawberries, it says four cups. But the reason I say it doesn't matter is because everything is two cups for prepared fruit. So once you get your fruit to this consistency, it refinished, so we're back. Once you get your fruit to this consistency, no matter what fruit you use, you need two cups. So whatever it takes is what it probably should read to get two cups of prepared. And that was for uh, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, peaches, and strawberries. I tell Mama, we, when peaches come in this year, we're going to get enough peaches. I made some peaches a couple of years ago, a year ago. Yeah, we'll, we'll make <coughs> some again. So all this says here, for all fruits, use one um, pectin package, sugar, all fruits use four cups, and your yield for all fruits is five to six cups. So all fruits are the same except the amount of fruit you start with, and it really doesn't matter because you're going for the prepared fruit. You need two cups of prepared fruit on all of them. So to me, I would go with just so you get two cups of prepared fruit, then you're good. Two cups. Mama's gonna try to make me do the old crushing ring. Yeah. And I was filing for it. Did you all see that? My mind ain't working. Your mind ain't working. Where's it at? You're on vacation? It's down somewhere. <clears throat> Mama, I doubt that pretty. Is that a good? Yeah. Thank you, man. That went, didn't take near as long as the, what she was having me do. Okay, folks. Tonight, I've heard everything. It is 628. It is 64 degrees out there. And they're telling me that we're having snow for tomorrow. And they're telling me we're supposed to get one thing told me. Two to four inches. One thing told me four to four to eight inches. Four to eight inches. Now, my, my, I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. 
<laughs> but I've seen a thing today, and I, I talked to somebody who was on the highway and seen it for themselves. But there's a thing today. So you know you're in East Tennessee if it's 64 uh, degrees and you're following behind the salt truck that's prepping for the snow that's coming. So one of my friends said her husband seen them prepping the interstates as he was coming home from work. And it was 60 cent degrees and they were prepping for the pre-salt stuff they put down. So I don't know. I'll come live tomorrow and show y'all the weather. There's all those breeze. I'll come live tomorrow and show y'all the weather and we'll just see what it's going to do. But I'm finding it hard to believe. I even thought, what did people do before they had weather forecasting? They were just up in the woods or wherever they lived and they had no meteorologist, no nothing, and they just had to look at the weather. Wonder what they would think if it was 64 and they wake up in the morning to snow. Wonder what they would think about that. I don't think it'll do much with, <clears throat> with this high temperature today. I'm back to froze again, folks. I'm back to... Can you touch it and get it going? It's going now. In East Tennessee, North Carolina, it's 68, and we are getting flurries. 68! Wait, 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 wait. They're Becky. not getting flurries, are they? Becky Smith says, in East North Carolina, it's 68, and we are getting flurries. Really? That's hard. Good Lord. 64 here in Richmond, Kentucky. Rain starting now, and snow right behind it. We don't have any rain yet. Who said that one? Teresa, we don't have any, I don't think. Snow in here in Indiana, Patty, here it comes. Patty says that they've got snow in Indiana. Yes, snow up to eight inches here. Kim, where's here? Kim Garden, where are you at? Folks, I think I have to, I'm get when it quits, I have to slide them off and slide them back and they start again. Single digits predicted. Wind chill in the Mississippi tonight, 70 degrees today. That's hard to believe. It's Teresa, what is going on? Kathleen, 85 here in South Florida. You ain't getting no snow, are you, Kathleen? Tell me you are. <laughs> it's snowing right now in Ohio. Susan, Suzanne, is it snowing? Big snow? This is for those who want, for those who want to. Limit sugar. There is pectin on the market that requires little to no sugar. Linda Johnson, thank you for that. Mom, that's what we need to invest in is some pectin that requires little to no sugar. You know me, I like the sweet. We're sweet. supposed to have severe weather tomorrow. Teresa, where is that? North South Carolina. It's going to snow here in Ohio. Two, two and a half inches. Who said that? Georgia, uh, I've heard everything today. Lows, 20s in South Carolina tomorrow night. I don't know. Four inches of snow in Arkansas. Rebecca, I, I don't know, folks. I've heard everything today. So I guess we're going to wait and see here. But I can't imagine. My daddy used to always say, it's too warm for it to stick. Um, I can't imagine if we get snow that it can lay since the temperatures have been as high as they are. And then it, it is supposed to be warm here on Sunday. Or am I just making that part up? We had a blizzard in 1993 with yeah. Rose. I remember the 93 blizzard. Oh, Lord, yeah. Yeah. Where do you get good strawberries this time of the year? I'm in North Kentucky. Um, Madeline, I don't know. Um, these came from our local school system. I ordered them a month ago, over a month ago. And they sold them by the flat or the half flat, and I ordered a flat. I think they were $30 mm -hmm. from the school. They're uh, for a flat and 15 for the I'm house. sure they probably come from a greenhouse. These come from Florida, because I remember reading it on the, on the, the box. box. On the flat box, I took it outside. Oh, on the flat box. Mm -hmm. Here's what they are. 
they said Florida strawberries. Let's just read here. Mama, I didn't knock that over then. I believe you missed that. No, I didn't. They're grown in the USA. Florida grown. Recipe on back. Um, Dover, Florida. That's what it says. Anybody yeah, out there from Dover, Florida? Anybody out there know anything about these birds? Hinton Farms. Fresh from Florida, right there on the pack. Uh, they may not have been grown in a... In a uh, Greenhouse. I don't know. They taste pretty good. I mean, I maybe it's just because it's the first berry of the season, but they taste pretty good to me. We saved one, one from the flat. Two I've eaten one. I've eaten one, and this is another Mama said for us to eat. We'll probably put some sugar on them too. As long as we have four cup. Let me read that again. Two cups. Two cups. We'll be all right. You gonna do four cups? I'm gonna do two batches. Because right here's what we got. Mm -hmm. I've used every drop of the berries, Mama. Well, you now, Mama, this is easier uh -huh. than all that other commotion we go through. I reckon it was. I'm glad you happened to. And faster. You know, my mind always goes directly to how can we make this easier. And you know, it's not the easy part that I'm most impressed with. It's the spaces. You're, you're buying time. Well, thank you, Mom. You're buying time with stuff that really works like this. Because, you know what it's all about? It's time. Time is money. Money is time. Ain't that what they tell us? We can save time. We. Well, my time don't make me no money. I don't know what that's like. What do you mean your time don't make you no money? Well, I sit here eight hours and I ain't made a dime or a penny. Oh, you mean you didn't clock in today? Uh, I didn't get no money. Well, Mama, that, Mama, that's the glory of the retirement years. You retire if you work, and um, then you get to enjoy those beautiful retirement years. Now, look there, folks. Now that's mixed up just right. Now Mama's going to do the magic. Um, she's got her little recipe out over here. And she's going to do the magic. Before I forget it, Teresa reminded me about the bundles. You get a coffee cup like this and any of the aprons that we have on Etsy store for $30. Or you get a tumbler like I've showed you in the past. Mama may have a one. Is there one in the drainer or is there one? Uh, we got a green one for St. Patrick's Day, but you might not want green. You get any color you want, and it's $35 with the apron. And then if you don't want the bundles, you can get 10% off anything else you purchase by tapping in the code LUCKY10. Teresa reminded me of that yesterday. Teresa, they're from Georgia. I didn't ask her about her weather. Um, they're a good Christian family from Georgia. We enjoy working with them. Mama's brought a selection. We have these tumblers. You get these tumblers and an apron for just $35. So what I like about these, they have a good rubber seal that'll hold on there. Some of the screw-off ones that we've had in the past, after a while, they do something. If that coffee's hot, that little pop off. See, it's got the clothes, so you can be a little more COVID-friendly and close your drink up so nothing won't get down in it like a germ. That works because we've got the colors. Here's the green, the orange, and the red. And this is just three of them. We still have some yellow ones on there and they have our little logo on them. So, one to mention that again. Okay, Mama, what's next on berries? I've got to find the cup. I got the cup in that box. That's a two-thirds, I think. Oh, well, it wasn't the right one, Mama said. Um, these berries look beautiful. Now these preserves, you keep them in your freezer. They're no cook. There's nothing. You just mix them and let them set for a certain amount of time. Mama, is this the rules? Yeah. Uh, it's down our ports to preserves or jams. Freezer jams. Use plastic freezer containers or jars with the tight fitting lids. Wash, rinse, and, uh, and immerse containers and lids briefly in very hot water or very hot dishwater rinse. Prepare fruit 
as directed in recipe chart and measure into large mixing bowl. Add bottled lemon juice. Do you put lemon juice, Mama? No. Uh, some of them calls for lemon juice. We don't put any lemon juice in there's ours. There's no lemon juice in this chart over here for this, so I've never put lemon juice. So we'll go with the chart. We don't use lemon juice. Ours tastes just like fresh strawberries out of the garden. Uh, some sweetened. of the stuff calls for lemon juice. It'll be over here in the chart telling you teaspoon of lemon juice. But we have none on the chart here. Well. Yeah. All right, Mama, take it away. Show them how to make these berries. Um, it says two cups of berries. And I'm just going to get... Look, can y'all see Mama? I'm going to tilt you down, I which means I may not be able to see all the comments. That's one cup. And that's two cups. That's two cups of berries. Mama, I think we're going to have more than two and this, uh, this right here I measured out is four cups of sugar. Make sure I'm doing it. You're right. Four cups it of sugar. It is right there. Four cups for all fruits. From here on out, you can use this on any fruit. Two cups of prepared berries, four cups of sugar. Now my old recipes, it said to uh, let this set an hour. But now in this one, it only says let it set back over in your original reading of it, uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, and in my original, it says to let it uh, go for, uh, after you put it in your jars, let it sit 24 hours. And that's what I always usually do. But this one only says, let it sit what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Now, Mama, I do remember last time we made these, I didn't want to let it sit in there. I said, what's the difference? Mama said, I don't know, but there is. So I, we was making two batches at the same time. No, it was pickles, wasn't it? Anyhow, one thing told it to let it set, and we, I was wanting to shortcut it. And by the time it got ready, it looked like a totally different thing by the time the hour was up. Mm -hmm. So I learned. Usually, if can in it, preparing preserves and stuff. I don't go with the recipes on a lot of them, but when it says let it set, and I'll tell you what the difference in this. This is, you can tell, it looks more white where the sugar's in it. But the longer it sets, and you've got to keep it stirred ever so often, you know, to keep it working. And that goes, and this this will get redder and redder, and the syrup, the sugar will turn to like a syrup stuff in it. Mama, would you put any salt in that? No. It don't call for salt. Or lemon. So it's just basically sugar and strawberries. Yeah. And then you <clears> take <throat> one pack of this. Pectin. Pectin here, and you put a cup of water in a little kettle, and you mix your pectin, and then you let it boil for one minute. I thought it's something I know. I saw you look at that. You scared me a little bit, Mama. <laughs> scared me a lot. I put <coughs> all them berries in. Excuse me. And uh, you pour that over it, and then you just put it in your jars. Yeah. Uh, so, Mama, on this line, are we going to be? Able, we won't be able to see the finish unless no, we come back. Unless we do another thing, and that right there is uh, one batch of going, and you've got to let this set. Like I said, it will make a big difference in how it looks and stuff. And that's really all they are to it: little kettle, a cup of water, and one pack of this. Mix this in your water before you get it. And after you get this mixed, it boils for one minute. Time it one minute. And then when you get through, you pour that over this mixture right here and mix it up real good and let it stir a little while. And then you put it in your jars and then let your jars wait 20 minutes. But like I said, mine, I let them wait uh, 24 hours on the counter before I moved them or anything. Okay. Let's recap, just so I can make sure I've got it. So, we prepared the fruit by chopping it and mashing it thoroughly. And this is prepared fruit. We use two cups 
of prepared fruit. Mm -hmm. That's right. Four cups of sure. white granulated sugar. Mm -hmm. And you stirred it up, and we got to let that sit an hour. Well, I think it just calls for a while in our... 20 minutes? 20 minutes. And then after you put it in the jars, I think it says you can let it sit three or four hours. So you're going to let this sit an hour, and then all you're going to do is put it in your jars. No, I'm going to put the pectin in a cup of cold water in a kettle. Stir it up good, turn it on, and let it go to boil. And when it boils good, starts boiling good, you wait one minute for it to boil good. So now when you say boiling good, is that when the bubbles start or when you can't stir them down? When you can't stir them down. All right, so a ro rolling boil. And then you uh, pour it over here and let it sit a few minutes and stir it up. Put it in your jars. And it says on there to let it wait four to five hours or something. Can y'all see that? Let's let's just. But see I this. always let mine in the. So oven. that's what it looks like now. And right before we sign off, we will show you what it looks like after that length of time. So it's six forty-five now. We're gonna let this set for an hour, like it says. Mama, you might need a bigger bowl. This one's about full. We'll just take out a cup of water. Add it to it. Okay. So we will let that set and then we'll just show you what it looks like. I don't know what's going on with comments, but it all it shows is when y'all come on and then I swipe off and then I swipe back on and then I, they start rolling again. So they haven't been doing that. Maybe Facebook's done some kind of update. Sometimes they do that. Do anybody have any questions while we got mama here? Oh, my recipe, I'm sure, Dale, yeah, is slightly different. Donna, what's your say, Miss Donna Harris? Um, strawberries are my favorite. They're mine to get. That's the reason, basically, this is the kind we make. Except Mama did say we did make peach one time. It's penny per star. Yeah, I think that's what they said we get. We ain't got anything yet, but um, we, we don't know much about it, really. It's a Facebook thing, and Facebook tells us kind of, We'd like for you to do this. All right. So, any questions about the preserves, the freezer jam? I've got red on me from the strawberries. It's 68 here in Alabama. Patty, it's six. It's been that today here. It's been warm. Uh, this is the way I make freezer jam. I let jars sit on counter for 24 hours. Yep. I let very sugar sit for about 15 minutes. So, you don't let your set that hour. Charlotte, do you have any trouble with it when you do it that way? Charlotte, you got more, but I can't see it. Won't let me punch it and see it. What is the stuff in the box called? That is called fruit pectin. It comes in a brand name called Sure Gel. And we used to call all of it Sure Gel, but this is our brand name here at our store. And it's Mrs. Wages Fruit Pectin. This is what makes jelly jelly. And Mama just, just explained to us, you put the ingredients from the package inside of this box, which comes like this, in a cup of cold water and put it in a kettle, which we call a kettle, what you all call a boiler or a pot. A little saucepan. A little saucepan. Just so it holds a cup of water, cold water. And you let it, that cold water warm up and come to a boil and a boil is when you can't stir it down like when you're stirring and it don't just go away you know how when you stir a pot of something you stir it and it just simmers out you know you boil you want it to really be boiled and you let it boil for one minute and then you take that boiled cup of water in this pectin which should be dissolved and you put it in your strawberries and uh, stir it good mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Stir it good. Counting. And then what do you do with it? Uh, after it boils for one minute, then you take it off and you pour it right over this strawberry and sugar mixture. Mama's telling you. It's... And, uh, and mix it up real good. While it's still boiling? I mean, You just take it off hot. and just let it cool for a second or two. You don't have to. And just work it in real good. Mix it and stir it off. I try to mix it for two or three minutes or more anyway. Just stir it up. And 
then you just put it in your jars, put your lids on it, and then you let it set for four or five hours, according to that. So you do it for 24 hours. But my old recipe that I had for years back is uh, set for 24 hours, and that's the way I always did it. Well, someone else just said that she let her sit on the counter for 24 hours, but she only let it sit in that mixture for 15 minutes. Oh. But now right here, I'm gonna have three batches. This one's done got the four cups of sugar in it. And this one right here, I've measured out four more cups of sugar. And Johnny, if you'll stir this one, I'm gonna go get some more sugar. Yes, ma'am. Get ready to put this one in there. I've gotta get sugar, so you can put it on you while you're... Put it on me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stir this mixture up. Now, see, there's a lot of sugar in there. This is not a... Someone said you didn't have to use this much sugar, but the way we're doing it here is the old-fashioned. It's jelly, after all. Um, it's so good on hot biscuits. It's so good with... Um, I just really like it. Speaking of biscuits, I hope you all enjoyed our two-ingredient biscuit. Cooked along last night. We sure did. We enjoyed it, and the biscuits were good, and they were hot. The only thing, um, which you know me, I'm always, I'll tell you it's the truth. We heated them up this morning uh, for a quick breakfast, and they were okay, but they seemed to be a little drier than what our biscuits normally do. That's the only thing Mama and I decided that it was a little drier, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah, that's right. So the biscuits were good hot. Couldn't tell a great deal of difference. But now this morning when we heated them up, they didn't heat up as good as our buttermilk with butter and, and, uh, and buttermilk. You know. Someone said that these biscuits could be near as good as buttermilk biscuits. And I probably would agree they weren't as good, but they were good. And uh, I think they would be good for a supper too. You know, like when you wasn't having breakfast, when you was just going to have... Um, a bread with your other stuff like steak or something like that that would be very good i might make them sometime might even do it this weekend if we get, if we get snowed in uh no promises but i thought last night how good those would have been with a meal like supper and i might even do some with some onions and some uh, seasoned salt some cheddar cheese i probably i may use some minced garlic and the juice to get a little garlic flavor in them, but I think that would be good like that too. Um, but they sure was easy, wasn't they? But now folks, I'm gonna tell you, the way we make them normally is just a couple more ingredients. So if you made those last night and they were a hit and a success, you're not far away from being able to make buttermilk biscuits. They're all about the same. Now I'm stirring this up real good. See that, that sugar's dissolving. But now look here at the difference. I'm talking about letting it set. This one here, let's point you down here. This one here has been setting for, you said how for uh, about six minutes. And see how different it's looking already? And it's getting more liquidy. Look at this one. It's not, and look at the, the total change in color. So it does matter if you let it set. I don't know how my mama's planning on letting this say it. Mama, we could do, what we could do, we could let this one set the way the direction said to 20 minutes. Go ahead and get your pectin going and see what the difference is. And we'll let one of these set the whole hour. We'll make one with them and you will know, this is the ones I let set, this is the ones I didn't let set. So that way we can do a little experiment. Fix my pectin right now. Here is this four cups of Sugar. sugar, and it's out of the way. Maybe. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, folks. We're just going to have a little C here. Y'all ever do a C here? We're just going to do it and see here what it does. So we're going to let this one set for 15 minutes, and it was at 6:45 because I said we're going to count for 6:45. So we'll let this blue bow set for 15 minutes. Ain't that what it said, Mama? Uh, 20 minutes. Or 20 minutes. And we'll go ahead. She's going to do her pectin. Show y'all how she does that. 
and then we'll let these set for the whole hour, and then we'll do those that way. We'll know if there's no difference. We'll know we've wasted, you know, some minutes. Mm -hmm. Some minutes. We'll know whether it's 20 or 15, you know. It looks like that ain't gonna mix up. It looks like it's way too much sugar for that amount of berries. But very shortly, you'll see that sugar will start pulling the water out of them berries and you'll have it just like that bowl there. So don't get panicky when you say, oh, I put too much sugar. Because you've not. See here how this is really stiff. I think this is getting hurtier. Uh-huh. But the blue bowl is the same as this one. Now watch this magically turn into just the right amount of sugar for all these berries. As I stir more and more, you think that sugar starts to melt, starts to get liquidy. Plus your berries start giving off that water. I can't believe you don't put a little dash of salt in them. You're gonna freeze them. You don't need the salt stuff. You freeze them. Mama says since you're gonna freeze them, you don't need no salt. Salt usually is in everything sweet. Usually, if you have a recipe, a pie recipe or anything, you're gonna have some salt in it. See how much looser that is already? Just almost instantly. It's already, that's the same bowl I had with that sugar in it. But now right here is what it's gonna turn into. This is the same mixture in both of these bowls. So this is what setting does for it. See how much redder it's getting? Look at that. See how much whiter this is or creamy looking? Mama, I would like to have some of this in blueberry. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I love blueberry and could you imagine if you done this in blueberry and then you got it out and made you some blueberry pies, deep fried pies. What about this other little amount over here, Mama? You're gonna try to Oh, I see here. Took just a little Mama. bit of sugar in that. Mama says cake. she's like baking a plain yellow cake. Now that'll be cake number three for this week, folks. I can't eat none of those others. So. They're still sitting right there. Cake number three for this week. I'm just going to put a small amount of sugar in this to eat that way because there's not enough. We took that one to church. to church. Mama took it to church. And it didn't all get eaten, so she had some to bring back. So she's got There's some not enough, you know, here lemon enough. poppy seed. And then she had that coffee cake. And I love, uh, she, I love, I'm getting text. I love the coffee cake. And I've eaten it a couple of mornings. I've not eaten it. We don't eat all that stuff. Um. If we have company tomorrow, which with the snow, we probably won't. We'll have something good to give them. Well, right here is the... Here's the pectin. Cup of water and the pectin. If you can see in there. And I've got it mixed up. So now if all I have to do is to let it... Cup start. of cold water, folks. Cold water in there. And it takes a little bit to get it all mixed up. It don't have to be ice water, but it, cold tap water. You don't want hot water. <laughs> That makes sense to use hot water to dissolve the pectin, but that's not what you use. It says cold water and let it come up to heat. Now, once it starts boiling, we can go over there and watch Mama do that in a second. But once it starts boiling, then we'll um, we'll go over there. This is what we were talking about last night. One mess, two suppers. This is one mess, one with three batches of strawberry preserves. Now somebody may say, why don't you just mix them all together and put three packs of pectin in there? Your ratios might not be the same. It may absolutely work. But mama, mama don't follow the rules on day in, day out stuff. But when it comes to canning, or when it comes to baking, mama goes down pretty good. So this is just a safer way to make sure all your measurements are right on point. You don't have too much pectin in one part, but you can stir it up good. I understand that. 
It just wouldn't work as good, Mama, you think? I don't think it would uh, because you've got to get it jarred up. Now, I cook jelly, you sure. I don't never mix it because... Mm -mm. Who's making jelly here one night? And uh, Mama <laughs> made the jelly. And she got all these jars out. And I said, Mama, um, this ain't going to fill all them jars. She said, this is just one batch. And I said, well, just dump it all in there and cook it. And she said, you never would get it poured up. And I said, oh, Mama, I could pour that up. Just make it all in one batch and we'll pour it up. You'll be here all night making all this. She said, just hush and watch and learn. I said, okay. Let me tell you what. We liked, I liked to never get the first batch poured up before it started getting gooey. And she said, that's because you don't want to have to pour up 12 jars of jelly at one time. You do about four at a time. I learned my lesson. Uh, it gets stiff quick, it works up quick, and you want it to be just right in the jar. And uh, so that's the reason Mama does it in batches. And I guess that's the reason you hear the term batches of jelly. I used to hear my granny talk about she made three batches of jelly, or she made three batches of preserves. So these are batches. Folks, we're going to try to get this one done. We won't keep you on here all night. Uh, and we're going to let these two set for the hour. This one has already set for 15 minutes. It's got to set five more minutes according to the recipe. But I don't think it hurt if it set 25 minutes. And uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, we'll know when we make them, we'll label it. And we'll know, does it have to do the hour? Right. Now look here, that's a rolling bowl. See, it was white. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. I don't know if they can see it or not. And Mama, you heard that microwave going? That's because she was using it for a timer. And there's the rolling bowl. Now look here. That Show, put that over here, Mama. Look how it's, you can tell it's like syrup. That's the pectin action. And all I'm going to do is to pour. This has got thicker and heavier. When it sets longer, it'll even be more. You want me to hold something? Mama? No, I don't need this bowl on here. I need this one. <laughs> Rest my hand a minute. Do you want me to pour that? No, I don't get it poured. Just... Okay, here it goes, folks. The pectin's going into the berries. See, Mama's just stirring as she goes. It kind of tempers it in. And it's going to still be hot. Be careful with it. And that's all she's got to do is now she's just got to stir that for a while. I'm going to set this down. You can still see Mama stirring, can't you? These are absolutely delicious. They're good on toast. They're good. I like to toast toast. When it comes out of the toaster, put butter on it and pour this over top of it and kind of eat it like a French toast. This is good on vanilla ice cream. Oh, my. Uh, Fourth of July, we always have a little strawberry preserves over our vanilla ice cream. Uh, we buy the other ice cream sometimes, but vanilla is one of our favorites because we always end up adding something to it. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel, pralines, um, walnuts. Your daddy loved banana splits, so. We used to buy Neap Neapolitan. Is yeah. that a brand or is that a... That's the, what it is. Chocolate and vanilla and strawberry all together. That's a flavor there. And uh, he'd always want chocolate syrup and a bowl of this strawberry, or jar of this strawberry preserve to go over it. And believe me, he was traditional. He wanted maraschino cherries, not just one. But several on his banana split. With that canned squirt stuff, you'd call it. Which was the whip topper. Mm -hmm. That looks good, Mama. I don't think it's hurt that it didn't set. It seems to be very it's bright red and pretty. Yeah. It turned out pretty Can you all see? If you can't see, move your comments over, folks. Um, there it is. So now what do we do? Now we have to, I don't know if it says, let this set. Where you jar it up or jar it up now. What's it say? Where are we at down here? No, it's over here. On the, the freezer. Yep. So, it says in a small saucepan, pan, add one cup of water and slowly stir in Mrs. Wage's fruit pectin home jelly. 
to prevent lumping. Bring to a full boil for one minute, stirring constantly to prevent scorching or sticking. Remove from the heat and quickly stir pectin solution into fruit sugar mixture. Continue stirring for three minutes. Ladle jam into containers, leaving one half inch headspace at top. Cover container and refrigerate after jam has set about three hours. Transfer to freezer. Store in freezer up to one year. Once a container is open, keep in the refrigerator and use within a few days. So, that's all it says. Stir it for three minutes and jar it up. Have you got your little jar strainer or a funnel? It's in there. I ain't got it yet. You may stir while you get your... Yeah. All right. Look here how red, folks. See how beautiful? Now, that's what your jar of... You all can't see nothing. I've got you twisted. Look here. See, this is the one that's setting. See how pinky it looks? Here's the one. And this, look at that bright, beautiful red. See how clear it's looking? That's the way your jar of jam's going to look. That beautiful, bright red and that clear gel. Once you pour it up, it don't change. And it's so good. I've washed and scalded in my jars. And... That's what she's been doing this evening. Stir this for three minutes. I don't know how close we are to three minutes. Do you, Mama? No, I don't. Just stir it for a good amount of time. Y'all froze up again. I don't know. This is a new thing for me. Having to slide y'all over and then slide y'all back to get you to move again. Usually you just roll right on. Roll right. Usually there's no problem. This is, I remember making this with my mom. Sandy, it's such a good memory. Uh, that's what everything's about. It's making a memory, making it special. It says, uh, I'm new here. Well, welcome to the family. Um, Big Dave, David. We're glad to have you. Hey, Vicki, how are you? Y'all froze up. I don't know what this new thing is. That will be yummy on anything. Ice cream, waffles, pancakes, toast. Uh, Patricia, I agree with you on every word of that. Anything. <laughs> love strawberries. I love them too. You need to let Mama sit and you wait on her. Uh, Lacey Williams, if it worked like that, Mama would be crazy. Mama, tell Lacey. I wouldn't see it. I she don't see, see it. If you've been here long, Lacey, you see I can't even keep her on the camera. She is on the go like that. All the reason sometimes y'all say, Mama looks tired. Yeah, Mama's tired because she's been going all day. Most people would have said to cap those strawberries. But Not Mama. I work and stand and work. And people will say, John, you just sit there and let Mama hand it. Mama won't have it no other way. No, if you think I'm lying, ask Mama there. She stands. Mama, do you like for me to mess in your stuff or get you? Don't you say, I'll get it. Yeah. Quit messing. I'll get it. I know exactly where it is. She'll be looking for something. I said, well, Mama, I'll go in here. No, I'll get it. She don't want me to do stuff like that. She's picky. I tell y'all all the time, she's picky. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, Mama. Switch it over. All right, can y'all see, Mama? I made strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh, Nancy, oh, that is daddy, so good. Yeah. Hey, Mama, how do you... Michelle wants to know, how do you get out of a jam? How do I get out of a jam? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. This is a Hey, Mama. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing that Hey, Mama. How do you get out of a jam, Mama? Put the lid back on the jar. <laughs> well, Mama, you just switched to jelly. Oh. Uh, Julie says, I hope you see how comment 
What is this, Julie? Let me see, Julie Wilson. It says, I hope you see my comment about friendship bread. Okay, Julie, if you got us a recipe for friendship bread. I used to have a recipe years ago. Let's see, let's see if I can find it. Okay, 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 let's see if I can find it. No, she's not going to, Sherry Ann. She won't sit none. I have to make her sit down. I can almost taste that. Yeah, I can, it, that's what I'm thinking. That will be good. Um, most of the time, when we sit here and eat, as soon as the camera goes off, within two minutes, she's just, I said, Mama, where are you going? I've done eat. I'm going to get this done. I'm gonna do, she is not going to wait. What did you and your daddy call me? Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit. <laughs> Jack Rabbit, Mama. She's always. Now, what is headspace is right here. And usually on your jars, your headspace, this from this ring here up is your headspace. And it's usually an inch. But. See, so that's about an inch. So you want to leave just enough there so when it freezes, it'll expand up into this area and it won't pop the top. So that's I'll what head space is. Uh, it won't bust the jar. And it won't bust the jar. Oh, you know what this means, Mama. I see the little half jar. That's for breakfast morning. Oh, this one? Yeah. No, I'll add the rest of them. Oh, well, darn But you can have some for breakfast. Listen to her. She's going to be sweet. You're dripping a little bit, Mama. Don't stick in there. I don't want to get that syrupy stuff. Mama is always on the go. And I'll tell her, Mama, slow down, slow down. It's the reason when she's not on the go, I worry about her. Mama, what's wrong? Don't you feel good? And she'll say, I'm just resting a little while, which usually means I don't feel good. She got in trouble today. She's a little mad. Well, I called her today and I said, how you doing, Mama? She said, I'm just laying around. I said, well, Mama, what's your sugar today? Well, I don't have any strips and I ain't checked in a day or two. Mama, tell me before you run out. So I called the doctor's office. I had him call her in a prescription and the druggist called me and said, how long has it been since your mama had a new tester? Do you know, these are pretty old. I, she said, they have some better ones. I said, does she think she needs a better one? She said, I think it wouldn't hurt. She hadn't had one in about four or five years. Longer than that. Longer than that, she says now. So, she said, don't bother. This is mama. Don't bother them. Mama. So we'll be checking sugar tomorrow or we'll be checking it tonight and tomorrow just to make sure we're on track. She usually can tell that I like it checked. I want her to be always on the check. She says, sure. Why'd you call out there and do that? I said, because you've been without strips and you didn't tell me for three days. And if I knew the truth, it might have been a seven days. How has it been, Mama? And this is one thing I'll do is You see I, her, you see her, she's slick. I take a paper towel and wet it and I always wipe the, the very tops of my jars off with a paper towel and I use a dish towel or a right, to wipe off. So why do you do that, Mama? Tell them. So they won't be nothing on there to keep the lids from going on good. Even though you're using this panel, you're gonna have a little spillage, a little drip, a little draft there, and one little piece of sugar could hold it from from sealing in the freezer. Especially if you're making it for chef's table. If you're making green beans or anything like that, you really want to make sure that jar is super duper clean. And see, she, she left that much space on every one of these so that the jar wouldn't break. Be sure you do that. You can use a Tupperware uh, plastic freezer mates for these. Uh, yeah, you can put it in plastic bowls. Mama, You've moved. Oh, 
And she's what they call finger tightening. She's not, you know, like breaking her elbow to get these on there. You just want them finger tight on the rings. As tight as this old woman can get them. As tight as this young lady can do it. So that's my three jars. And I'm, I'm glad we did this. That way we can finish up and they can see the end product. That's the end product. Isn't that beautiful, folks? And that's... I'm going to set them down here out of our way. Absolutely so beautiful. So I won't... Now, Mama's strict on this part, too. When it says, leave them alone. See how pretty that turned Mama out. Mama wants me to show you one more. Look how beautiful. Those are beautiful. Freezer jam. Or, as we call them, strawberry preserves. Freezer strawberry preserves. Um, when she says she's going to leave these on the counter, and don't mess with them for 24 hours. It'll be tomorrow night before we touch these. They won't get moved. Not even a little. So wherever she sets them down over here is where they're going to sit for 24 hours. That's right. And here you go, Mom. So she set them here on the island, and she'll leave them there for 24 hours. Now, folks... Now, That's it all says we're... five or six, but now my old, old recipe that I've she done, have that. I put it more. I may get in trouble for making her change this and not do it. She'll say, now, I hope them jars you made me go ahead and do holds. If they don't, Mama, I'll eat every one of them, I promise. I know what you'll be good. We are going to let these set the hour just because we're doing a little experiment. And we will let you all know, did it matter? Did the 20 minute jars look, taste, keep any better than the hour ones? I've got a suspicion since I've had a couple testimonials over here that they only let it sit for 15 minutes and then 24 hours on the counter. Uh, I've got a sinking suspicion that it won't matter that much. So we'll let y'all know, but we're going to play with the rules on these other two. We just wanted to come quick tonight, show y'all the strawberry freezer preserves, aka strawberry preserves. Uh, the, no, I said that wrong. The freezer jam, aka strawberry preserves. <laughs> Mama? I'll scoot over here. It's going to kill her to stand still for a minute. Let me see if I can get you all's comments. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it, it doesn't want to keep up with y'all tonight. I use glass jars in the freezer. Yes. Yes, Edie, you can use the glass jars in the freezer, but make sure you leave that inch head space at the top of them so they don't bust when they expand. Those berries will expand when they get frozen. My mom used plastic freezer containers. You can do that, Julie, for sure. Uh, we have a line with Tupperware, and if we were going to use them, that's what we would use, and they would hold just as good as anything else. Uh -huh. Just always had plenty of jars. Shirley Turner, you reported a troll. Thank you. We don't do trolls on here. If you are a troll, or if you're just a nasty, negative kind of person, we don't. We just want you to love and and be kind. And if you can't do that, then we're just gonna, you know, we'll ban those trolls because we just don't do that. Uh, that's not what this is about. Do you no. want? We want you to come here and safety. Do not reply to a troll. Do not click anything they offer for you that's just don't do that at all i don't think that um they can do anything to our page or to you all just by being on here it's once you start clicking and answering and get into their page and there's a chance you could get something would be oh, yeah. something would be wrong um there you go i don't know this new this is first time this has happened but now Facebook has done some changes because the whole way I go in now is totally different. Someone was asking what kind of... It, it left me. Good night. Take care and stay safe. Teresa, thank you so much. You all do the same. And if you do get that snow, enjoy looking at it and let's just hope it goes away by lunch. <laughs> I don't even know what time it's supposed to be here, but I do know they're giving it. And some of y'all darn decisions are getting it. So, uh, y'all be careful. It's still 61 degrees at 718 here in downtown Oswego. 61. Now, it's, um, it's, it's dark here now. Oh, yeah. But Sunday night, uh, we'll, Saturday, Sunday. before you go to bed, spin them clocks up one hour. You got a whole extra hour taken away from you. But you got a whole extra hour of sunlight at the end of the day. So enjoy 
Sunday's sunset an hour later. All right, folks, we're going to go. I'm glad that we was able to show you all the end product. Uh, we took you all the way through every step this way, and it gives us a little experiment to try. Mom, you got anything to add? No. I'm just thankful we got the strawberries and can put them up and stuff. Yes. We hope they Two stay. to four inches in length, and Sherry. They dang got that much or supposed to get it. How many strawberries did you use to start the recipe? Well, that depends on who said that. Uh, oh. Myrtle, the Myrtle Flowers. What it says is four cups. Four cups of un prepared strawberries and that's just four cups of berries that have been kept and cleaned and washed and all the things picked up from them but the thing you've got to worry about is the prepared fruit and that is two cups two cups of prepared fruit and this is what they're calling prepared fruit it's when it gets all mushed up and ready to go and then you measure your two cups of prepared fruit so the beginning may vary you may start out with three cups or five cups, in, but it says four cups. But just so you end up with two cups of prepared fruit. I'll go over this one more time, so if you just join us. This, some of y'all ask, can you use different fruits? The box says blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, peaches, and strawberries. But now, I'm sure if you come up with your own thing for plums or whatever else, I don't see how it would make a difference. Um, just prepare your fruit and do it the same way. But uh, plum would probably be good. Would you think, Mama, would you think there'd be any reason not I've to I've never do fixed, I've made plum jelly, but I've never fixed plum I haven't jelly. either, but I'm just talking. Come on over, Mama. Oh. Uh, and I don't know about um, like pineapples. I think this would be good in pineapple too. Uh, if you got the fresh only thing pineapple. about pineapples, I don't know if you can do fresh pineapples. Most pineapple stuff is cooked. So let's just go with the rules. Because I'm just making up stuff as I say pineapples and plums. But the box says blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, peaches, and strawberry. I'm saying I don't know why you couldn't, but then you probably can't. I don't know. Peaches is real good in Peaches is delicious. Mm. You could do a thing of strawberry preserves and a thing of peach preserves. Put a little strawberry preserves on a Sunday and a little bit of peach preserves on the other end. <laughs> You'd have a banana that. split mm. that wouldn't quit. Folks, we're going to say good night. We're going to say, find you something good to eat. Stay warm. Enjoy the weather tomorrow, whatever we get. I have resolved. I'm just going to enjoy it. And uh, find you something good to eat. Make you some memories and enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your evening and enjoy your tomorrow. We'll be on here tomorrow. And if it snows, I'll probably go live and show y'all some East Tennessee snow. <laughs> I guess you all will have your own. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. Bye, y'all. Have a great night. Bye-bye.